Will it be evet, meaning yes, or hayır, meaning no? That's the choice faced by Turkish voters on Sunday as they decide whether or not to back changes to the country's constitution that will place more power in the hands of the president. 18 amendments are up for debate and may lead to the biggest change in Turkey's political landscape since the republic was declared in 1923. On the streets of Turkey, it's the campaign for yes that's been making the most noise. We understand the 18 articles and I think they are very good. Let Turkey's future open up. Let no one get in the way. I think this presidential system is necessary and I hope we will get there thanks to the support of our president. The Republic will shift to a system led by a single good man. He does everything for our future, for the good of the country. And because we trust him, we'll vote for Erdogan. Amendments include abolishing the post of Prime Minister, reducing parliamentary powers and allowing the President to make legal decrees. Those campaigning for a no vote fear the consequences. The reason why we say no is this. One man does not have the capacity to govern a country alone, neither from a democratic point of view or from a human rights perspective. The ruling AKP party says the new system will help ensure stability for Turkey as it goes through major social and economic upheaval. But critics say it paves the way for authoritarian rule, tailor-made for President Erdogan. The presidency system that they want to introduce is nothing like the US or France, uh, in that you have a great concentration of power in the presidency uh, and no proper checks and balances to uh, curb that power. So if power is abused by the president's office, there's nobody really to, to prevent that. Concerns over authoritarian rule are even greater following last summer's coup. Since then, 47,000 people have been arrested and more than 140 journalists imprisoned.